All right. Welcome to Mentorship Masters Roundtable Meetup. Uh, and this is going to be a really, really great meetup today. Again, like I mentioned, I was out of town last week, back with you again this week. So glad to be here. And um, we got a lot of new masters. We have 22 new masters that have come in to Mentorship Masters just within the last 30 days. So it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. In fact, we have our, our first master from India. That's right. India is in the house. So we are now, Mentorship Masters is now in India. Um, and so awesome. that, that's, yeah, super exciting, super exciting. So um, what we're going to talk about today is mindset. In fact, um, this really is uh, really a historic Mentorship Masters. Why? Because we're kicking off uh, a one-year training. Okay, you heard me right. <laughs> For the next year, I've kind of mapped out what we're going to learn. Um, by the way, somebody's a little noisy, Chris. Um, what you could do, Chris, is you can you can see whose uh, mic is on, and then you can mute them um, in, on the side. So, uh, by the way, if your mic is it's hot, mute yourself uh, unless you want to help me teach the class. I don't mind that either. So, the format that we're going with is we're going to. Um, do the training for about uh, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to open it up for questions. And then we're going to save the announcements for the end. Okay. So Chris, you probably see that there's somebody in the waiting room. Okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I ain't, don't have to tell you how to do your job. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And um, let's jump right into it. Because I we've got a lot of ground to cover and I don't want to waste any time. So... This is, and by the way, let me just show you um, quickly. I'm going to kind of show you the presentation. Look at, look at all these goodies that I have to share with you guys. Isn't that something? Pretty good, huh? So there's a lot of goodies that we're going to cover today. And um, we're going to really start, we're going to kind of kick it off with uh, this right here. So, all right. Mentorship Masters Roundtable Meetup. Don't forget that we meet every single week right here, same place, same time, same station. <laughs> we are here every single week. I'm here for you. Um, and we're, we're, we're teaching how to succeed at a high level. Now, what does that mean? At Mentorship Masters, those of you that have been, been around for a while, like Sam Silver, you've been, you've been here for, for a minute, you know that we teach an eight pillar system, eight pillars. So there are eight fun, uh, fundamental foundational pillars that will help you succeed. And um, I see a lot of people, uh, not in our group, but I see a lot of people in real estate that kick off their career um, without really a firm foundation. And so what I decided to do was take our uh, complete curriculum and turn this into a one year yeah, you heard me right. This is a one year course. So we're going to spend like one month in mindset. Uh, then we'll go to activities. Then we'll study people, systems, tools, money, accountability, and training. Uh, this is a system that I created years ago called Spiritual Business Mastery. And what I did was I took eight of the, the eight pillars that helped me to earn a million dollars by the time I was 29 years old um, and make millions of dollars since then and mingle it with, you know, spirituality, okay, which is what we're all about here as well, um, and create sort of a training system that will help you succeed, not just today, okay, not just tomorrow, but forever. Can I hear an amen for permanent prosperity? Yes, permanent prosperity. You don't, you don't want to just have prosperity right now, but you want to have it for the rest of your life. And this is the reason why you find successful people you can take everything they have away from them. You can take their bank accounts. You can take their businesses. You can take their vehicles. You can take their homes. Doesn't matter. Within six months to a year, they're going to be back in the game. Okay, why? Because what you can't take away is the, is the mindset, the millionaire mindset. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, that millionaire mindset. So um, besides the four pillars, you do also have four bodies. You have a spiritual body, a mental body, a physical body and an emotional body. Okay. So we're going to spend uh, four months on uh, like one month on each of those. So as you can see, there's 12 topics and we're going to spend, um, uh, you know, one month on each. So now 
the, the, the other cool thing about our uh, mentorship masters meetup is that you're going to be able to bring any question that you have to the meetup as well. Okay. If it's just now, if it's, if it's a general question, if it's a, if it's a deal related question, make sure that you, you reach out to your broker or reach out to your sponsor um, right away to get that question answered. But if you just have a general question, you bring it to the meeting, we help you. Don't forget also that we have Chris and Patty both on board uh, here at Mentorship Masters exclusively for you to help you as well. So uh, I'll give you more information on how to reach them too. So here's our agenda for today. We're gonna talk about millionaire mindset training. That's what we're gonna start off with. Then we're gonna go in, into your questions and then we're gonna kick it off with some special announcements. Now, M, M stands for what? You all know M stands for mindset. Now, here's the thing about your brain, your mind. By the way, when we're talking about mindset, we're not just talking about your brain, okay? It's very important for you to understand that. We're not just talking about your brain. So the mind actually, if you uh, really look at it from a quantum physics standpoint, uh, the mind actually sits outside the body, okay? So the, the mind is, a lot of people refer to the brain as the mind, but the brain is only one component of the mind. Remember, we have three brains in the human body. We actually have more, more than three but we have three brains that science has discovered so far. And there are many other brains within the body besides the one in your head, okay? So scientifically, uh, they found that there is a brain that's in your heart. Uh, Dr. Childers in his work with the heart math method uh, discovered that the brain actually, or the, the heart actually has a brain. Um, and then the gut, the stomach actually has a brain scientifically proven. And the gut brain, you remember that over 90% of your serotonin is created in the gut. And the gut brain has about the uh, intelligence of a canine, about the intelligence of a dog. So that, yes, that IQ has been read on the, on the gut brain. So uh, God created the human being, the homo sapiens with multiple brains. But what we're talking about really is mindset that encompasses, it, it goes, it's more far reaching than just the brain itself. So Mindset is the first and most important pillar. It has been well noted that success in any endeavor, any endeavor is 90% mental. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You've heard that and that is absolutely true. Now it is important to understand how the mind works, okay? So many of um, uh, the agents that, that I coach and train have never really taken the time to study how the mind really works. And when you understand how the mind works, uh, you really, really are uh, head and shoulders above the rest, okay? Uh, no pun intended there. So the functionality of the subconscious and conscious mind, the ego and so forth. So you really want to understand how all of that works, okay? And I'm going to give you some resources um, at the end of our time today where you can really study this in depth. You can go as deep as you want to with this, um, but you don't have to go that deep to, to achieve success, okay? So, uh, and then... Uh, when one can master the mind and then use it to one's advantage, true and lasting progress is possible, okay? So take a screenshot of this. This is real, real uh, key and integral stuff to what we're going to be learning today. That's right. You have, and, and actually, you might want to write this down too. So you have a conscious mind. You also have a subconscious mind. And then you also have a super conscious mind, Okay. Uh, and the super conscious is really where everything happens and it kind of cascades down from there, from the super conscious to the subconscious to the conscious. Remember that 88% of your daily functions, the daily functions that you do are autonomic. Okay. Let me say that again. 88% of the functions that you do every single day are autonomic. They happen within the subconscious mind. You are not aware of them. They are outside of your consciousness, outside of your field of consciousness. So, so that's the reason why we, when you become aware of the subconscious, you can become, begin to use the subconscious to uh, your advantage, okay? Now, if you're new to the group, a lot of this might sound kind of weird to you, like, man, I've never, but uh, if you've been here and studying with Uncle Nolly for a while, this is a little bit old hat to you, okay? Now, I want to share with you a little bit my story and how I launched my first real business. Now, most of you guys know, um, I became an entrepreneur at about, about the age of 13, okay? I sold stuff door to door. Um, I did that for 
uh, I mean, that I, I was a hustler, okay? I, I, I sold newspapers, I sold candy, you name it. Um, in fact, what I would do uh, before I went to school, my mom would give me $5 every day for lunch. I would take that $5 and I would go out, go down to the, uh, we call it the corner store, okay? On the way to school, I'd, I'd go and I'd take that $5 and I, I would invest it in candy. That's right, I would buy back then packs of now and laters, uh, starburst, whatever kind of candies I could buy. And then I would break those up and I'd sell them for 10 cents each. And I would take, so that $5 that my mom gave me in the morning, by afternoon, it would be $15, okay? And I always loved the process of generating money, generating revenue. I call it the process of profit. Now, fast forward um, at the age of 23, that's me. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing, but that's, that's, uh, that's old Uncle Nolly uh, back when he was 23 years old. Um, because I, at the age of 13, I got, it, I got enamored with rap music. I wanted to become a rapper. So I came out with my very first cassette. Uh, some, of y'all, some of you guys remember cassette. Raise your hand if you remember cassette tapes. Huh? Oh, you're, you're dating yourself. I see you. <laughs> What's up, Charles? <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, so yeah, that was my very first one. And to start the label, uh, what I, here's what I did. I raised $1,800 from friends and family to launch my very first company. Okay. Now it was $40 here, a hundred dollars there, $50 there. And pretty soon I had 1800 bucks. I came home and you know what I told my wife? I said, Josie, I said, I just quit my job. She said, you did what? Actually, I gave a notice, okay? And I gave a three-month notice. I know nobody does that, but I worked for an attorney at a law firm. He was a bankruptcy attorney, and he was a really nice guy. Um, I was a graphic designer for him, and uh, so I gave him 90 days. I said, man, I'm going to be working for you for 90 more days. I'll train my replacement, but I'm off to start my first company. So that's what I did. Uh, I got into Christian rap, Christian hip hop. That's what I uh, launched my uh, very first business doing. And just fast forward, uh, if you will, five, uh, just three years later, okay? That's when I bought my first house. Now, what, I want, what I'm trying to share with you guys is I want to share with you um, what I call this whole, what I call imagination activation, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, swing back around in the coming weeks. Remember, we're going to be parked here for about two or three weeks. Uh, and I'll, I'll share more about imagination activation, but you have to see it, uh, you know, you, or, or, you, or I guess what my wife would say is you have to, to be it in order to see it, okay? So the thing is, as you move into your destiny, as you move into your destiny, the reality manifests. See, everything happens in the unseen, okay? Every, everything happens in the invisible, before it becomes visible. First, it's an idea, then it you goes down on paper, and then it manifests. And this, this, for example, was my first cassette. And this was an idea that I had um, at eight, age 18. I got the, the name for the label. Then what did I do? I took action, raised the money, and launched, okay? Now, just three years later, I got the idea that I needed to buy a house, okay? I was 26 years old. And uh, it wasn't just going to be any old house. This was going to be the house where I officed uh, my company, okay? Because by then, the company had grown. We had several employees. Uh, we were, we, you know, believe it or not, Christian Rap label was, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was starting to thrive, okay? So what I did was I took this piece of paper that you see right here. Yes, I'm, I'm 51 now. This is the actual paper that I sketched out what my new home was going to look like, okay? So many of you, what you want to start doing is dreaming. You know, some of you have forgotten how to imagine. You've forgotten how to dream. You've forgotten how to vision, okay? And, uh, and, and so this is what I did. I wrote down, I want a home that's going to be six to 10,000 square feet. I want it to be seven bedrooms, three living rooms, five bathrooms, and so on. Everything that you see on this paper. Now, granted, I'm 26 years old, okay? So what happened was uh, my... I didn't know how it was going to happen. Now, a lot of times what happens is my students get enamored and they get stuck in the how. But not only, I, I don't know how. I say, hey, write it down. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I had no clue how I was going to do this, okay? I just knew that this was what I needed. So I wrote it down. 
I, I put it, I put a plan in action. By the way, my uncle, when I was 18 years old, he taught me how to set goals. And I had five different uh, sheets of paper with different goals on them. And I teach you how to do that in, in success with listings in my book, success with listings, chapter three. So anyway, this is what I did. I wrote this down and uh, my insurance agent, <clears throat> he contacted me. He says, Hey, not only I'm doing a seminar and I want to see if you and your wife can come. So I said, okay, what's the seminar about? He said, well, it's a seminar for people that might want to buy a house. I said, well, okay. So we went to the seminar, Josie and I went, and uh, there was a, so it was an insurance guy, which is my guy. There was a, a, a real estate agent at the, at the seminar that, that spoke. And then there was one other person, I think it was an attorney or one other person, uh, uh, was it, no, it was a mortgage lender, mortgage lender. So the three of them did a seminar and they got me pre-qualified. <clears throat> my wife and I pre-qualified on the spot and we pre-qualified for a house for $400,000. Okay. And within, I don't know, a few months, uh, I, I went ahead and sketched out this picture right here. I said, this is what I want the house to look like. Okay. Now, remember, I had already sketched this out as what I, what I wanted kind of the property to look like. And then I drew this picture. Now, within a few months, this home right here came on the market. Okay. Is that eerie or what? This is, and this is honest to God, what I'm telling you guys, this is the home that I sketch. And this is the home that we ultimately bought. Okay. I bought this house when I was 26 years old. And um, three years later, I made my first million dollars at the age of 29. Okay. At the age of 29. And um, I was featured in all these different places, CBS, uh, Newsweek, ABC, over 300 different magazine uh, newspapers, um, a big article was written on us. Uh, in fact, when at the age of 29, I got a deal with EMI, and uh, which is a, a was the largest uh, distributor in the world. That, you know, they own Capital Records and all that. And that year, I actually made two million dollars. Okay, and uh, so that eighteen hundred dollars seed investment had grown to one hundred and fifty thousand bucks. Now, why am I telling you all this? Why why is that relevant to you? Okay. Well, and by the way, let me, there's, there's one other piece to the story. I lost everything at the age of 33. <laughs> now I can laugh about it now, but it wasn't funny back then. And I know some of you, some of you are going through uh, maybe a, a rough time right now, or you've been through, raise your hand if you've ever been through a rough patch, huh? Or you, 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 or, or have you always had it cushy? Okay. So, um, so I lost everything at age 33, but that's not the end of the story. The whole key though, guys, is you've got to envision it in order to, uh, to receive it. Now, one of the big problems I had uh, with, one of the problems of becoming a 29 year old uh, with, with, that makes over a million bucks, okay? Can you imagine being 29 years old and you know, making several million dollars, okay? It, it, you wouldn't wish that on anybody, would you, right? So. Here's what I want you to do. And this is this was my big problem that I had. Uh, the mindset wasn't there, guys. Even though I, I made the money, the mindset wasn't there, okay? So the mindset had to eventually catch up to receive wealth. Um, Jim Rohn, the way Jim Rohn put it, he says, um, if, if, if for someone to receive a million dollars, okay, they best become a millionaire real quick if they wanna keep the money. Okay, because we've all heard stories and, and I've, I've heard my students like, man, if I could just have a million dollars, well, guess what? That million dollars will be gone. Okay, within 30, 60, 90, I guarantee within a year, if you don't learn how to become a millionaire before you earn a million bucks, because I've done it, I've, 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 I've lost millions. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to, on a blank piece of paper, I want you to write down your freedom number. What's, what's your freedom number? Like, what, what is that number? What does that look like in terms of, um, you know, oh, what, and, and by the way, what does a freedom number mean? So freedom number is, this is the amount of money that you would, if you made this much every month, you're good. <laughs> I mean, you're good. For some of you, it might be 3000 a month. Okay. And, and basically what I would say is what, what will it take to cover your monthly nut to where you don't have to worry about finances? So write that down on a, on a, on a piece of paper. Okay. Um, you don't have to share it with us, but just, just personally, you can write that down. Um, okay. So everybody written that down, you got it. 
Okay, good. Now what I want you to do is below that number, I want you to write down how much income you're current, you are currently making, um, uh, you currently make, okay, per year, or in this case, let's do per month. Yeah, Pamela Hewley says five bathrooms. Actually, the house, Pamela, that we ended up buying had six bathrooms. So sometimes your goals will be a little off, but that's okay. <laughs> it was seven bedrooms, six bath. Um, okay, so everybody got that written down? So yeah, so you wrote down your freedom number and then the number that you're currently making. Uh, now, here's a question that I want to ask you. How much is your current mindset costing you? How much is your current mindset costing you? And it's really going to be the difference between your freedom number and the number that you currently have. That's all mindset, guys. Okay. There is no one holding you back. Who is holding you back from, 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 from achieving your goals and dreams? Huh? Is it, the, is it the federal government? Is it the neighborhood? Is it maybe the church or the way you were raised? Is it the fact that you were abused as a child or that you had a bad upbringing? You, you were raised in the wrong part of town or, or you just got a, a, a bad hand of cards? Who is responsible for that? You know, right? So, so, so that's the question. It's all mindset. So if you don't have, so if your mindset is costing you, you know, $5,000 a month, then it's time to upgrade. Okay, it's time to upgrade the mindset. And that's what we're here with. That's what we're talking about right now. So in 1921, Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize for his work in quantum physics. Okay, quantum physics. Now, Albert Einstein was a pretty smart guy. And what Albert Einstein uh, recognized and realized um, is that the Homo sapiens brain actually is able to transmit messages, okay, now, this is going to sound crazy to a lot of people, but the homo sapien brain can transmit messages from outside the, the mind, okay? So we as human beings communicate with each other, not just through words, okay? But we commu communicate with body language. We actually communicate with, with sense and odors, and we also communicate through our mind. Yes, we, now, we, now most people haven't developed this. Uh, Chris, we got a few people in the waiting room. You can check that out. Uh, most people haven't developed this, but the reality is that this is what Albert Einstein and his research discovered. Just like, um, it might sound weird, but think about it. A, uh, right now, I'm on a Wi-Fi signal, okay? So a, how does that work? You know, how does electricity work, right? Um, how does, how does uh, a radio work? Well, our minds, what Albert Einstein found in 1921 and why he won the Nobel Prize is he realized and he discovered that the Homo sapiens brain works just like a, almost just like a radio in that we can transmit, okay, things out there and those things will come back to us. That, and that's why the law, the, the law of attraction has become so popular. There are some pieces missing to the law of attraction, but, but that's why it's become so popular because it actually does work when you understand how to work it, okay? Now, Quantum field theory, th this is much of what I teach, even though I don't necessarily call it this, is quantum field theory, okay, uh, is a body of physical principles that combines quantum mechanics and relativity to explain the behavior of subatomic particles. Now, don't get it twisted and don't get it confused and don't get, don't make it complex. All we're talking about is that there are things in the world of the subatomic world that are, are what create and shape everything else. So every single thing is energy, guys. If you were to take anything down to the subatomic level, you'll see that it's only energy. And what happens is we as human beings, and by the way, everything has a different frequency. We'll talk about that on a, on a future class, but everything radiates at a different frequency. So you, if you have a frequency of poverty, guess what you're going to attract into your life? Poverty. If you've got a a chip on your shoulder and you and you're radiate, radiating a frequency of don't mess with me. You know, I don't like people. Okay. These are all things. Th there are broadcast messages. Write this down. There are broadcast messages that you right now are broadcasting from unconsciously from within yourself. And they are creating the reality that you are currently living. Okay. 
I just want you to think about that for a moment. Now, um, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, okay, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. That was Nikola Tesla, okay, Nikola Tesla. And this is exactly what we're talking about, energy, frequency, and vibration. If you can change your energy, you can change your frequency, you can change your vibration, you can change your mind, you will begin to attract every single thing that you desire in this world, every single thing that you desire, and even outside the world. So, so, so that is really, um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse of how it all works, sort of an overview. Um, we'll study, we'll, we'll continue on this study, but guys, the, having the right mindset has a lot to do, not just with what you think, but also, so you have to control the thoughts that you think. You also have to control what you see, okay? In scripture, the writer wrote, David wrote, um, I will keep my mind, my eyes away from worthless things. I will keep my eyes away from worthless things. Okay, so we have to watch the move. We have to we have to consciously um, say, hey, do I want to watch this movie? Do I want to input that into my in, into my into my body, into my energetic field? Because guaranteed, guys, you know, if you watch violence and you watch the, the reason why I stopped watching the news 14 years ago <laughs> is because I, most of what I saw, 90 percent of it was violent and was uh, depressing. So I just stopped watching it. Um, actually, uh, I was I was reading the book, The Four Hour Work Week, and um, the writer there, uh, Tim Ferriss, he said, "Why don't you just take a, a a one week fast from the media?" And I did, and I just never went back. That was 14 years ago. So we have to control what we see. We have to control what we input into our body. We have to control what we say. We have to control what we think. Okay, we have to we have to manage that. We have to tap into the subconscious mind if we want to have the ultimate success in this realm. Now, let's look at some resources. Um, the, there are four resources that I want you to uh, make, sure, make sure that you know about so that you can uh, further your study in this. But if you, if you can't get past the, per, the first pillar, which is mindset, then you'll never, ever achieve and attain uh, the, the kind of success that you want. You know, ha have you ever been in a place where you say, man, I've, I've done everything. I've done this. I've done that. I did what Nolly said, or I did this. And I just can't, it just seems like a black cloud is following me. Everything goes wrong. This broke down. This didn't happen. The other deal fell through. Well, I guarantee you there is something happening either in your energetic body or in your mind in your, in your, in, in your mindset or in your, um, you know, with, with your energetic field that is, that is, you're attracting all that, that negativity. Okay. You, you're, you're creating it. Okay. And uh, if you want to really learn more about this, make sure that you study your wishes, your command. That's an audio series that's in the mentorship masters portal. It's 10 hours of exactly what we're talking about now, but a lot deeper uh, by Kevin Trudeau. Absolutely phenomenal. All scientific phenomenal. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. You've got to get that book. Okay, very, very important. Um, it's on Audible. So that's another great resource. Feel Free to Prosper. That's by Marilyn Janae. Absolutely phenomenal book. Same principles of what we're talking about right now. And then by Esther Hicks, Ask and It is Given. Ask and It is Given. Okay, so these are, uh, those are the resources. Now, I'm going to open it up for your questions. So any questions that you guys have for me, Let's open it up for any questions that you have around what we've talked about today so far, and then we'll just open it up for any general questions. You can either unmute yourself and speak, or you can put them in the chat. So a lot of what you're saying, this is Sam Silver. Hey, Sam. Um, What's hey, up, Sam? You, Santa Clarita in the house. All right, Sam, Santa Clarita, you got it. <laughs> I, got a few, uh, I got a few guests in on, and what you're saying is gold. I'm just saying this gold. It's it goes back to the law of attraction. You attract what you put out into the world. Of course, you also have to have the action as well. You can't just sit on your couch and say, "Oh yeah, it's going to come to me." No, that's the problem. A lot of people think the law of attraction. They sit on their couch and it's going to come to them, but it doesn't. You have to put the effort and the work into it. So that's gold stuff. Dropping nuggets. Nolly as always. 
Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And, and I'm, glad, I'm so glad that you brought the action into it because that's actually the second pillar. So the first pillar is mindset. The second pillar right behind that member is activities. What is activities? Action. And uh, write this down. Uh, don't just take action. Take massive action. Take massive action. Uh, because you will be you will be led in what actions to take, okay? But you got to get your mind right first. But yeah, you're right, Sam. You can't just hey. sit back and let it flow to you. Hey, Nolly. Hey, Pamela. What's up? Hey, um, question. How do you, um, if you're working so hard on your mindset, but you're surrounded by people with um, low what did you say? Low energy, low frequency, low vibration constantly. And you can't, you can't really get, you can't really uh, eliminate yourself from that environment with those people. They're your family. How do you do that? Well, I've, that's a great question. And um, you really have to protect yourself. Remember, um, Jesus was, was pretty good about this. Remember, Jesus would actually withdraw himself from the people uh, and he'd say, man, I, I got, I, you know, I'm out, you know, he would go up in the mountains of wilderness, or he would, sometimes he would just hide from people because the, you, you can't, you can't take that negative uh, input and energy. Uh, it depends on the type of person you are, but let me go back to the question. So first of all, and, and it's just semantics, but when you say, Hey, I'm working hard on myself. So I want you to kind of rethink that. So working on yourself is not, is not a hard thing. We don't work hard on ourselves. In fact, uh, work, work in and of itself never has to be hard, okay? When you're in flow, uh, working on your mind and becoming the type of, all we're talking about is really becoming who you are, becoming the person that you really are. Most people have never taken the time to discover what is it that makes me tick? What do I want? What keeps me in flow? OK, so and, and that that is very easy. Remember, Jesus said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. This is not a hard thing to do. So um, but yes, it, it does take diligence. It, 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 you have to be on the task and you and you and that that should um, reaching your ultimate greatness. OK, the, the in, in other words, why are you here? What is the what is your purpose? To me, that's first and foremost. OK, not for everybody. Yeah. Um, but, but then on the other side of that, you really have to surround yourself with people that will, will endorse and encourage the trajectory of your, of your life, of your growth. It, it's, it's very, very, very important, very important. And that's the reason why when you read, um, let's see if I have my copy here, uh, the book, letting go, mm. um, letting go is very, very instrumental. And, in, uh, now I'm not, I'm not advocating that anyone do this. But the, the writer of that book, Dr. David Hawkins, he just left everything. He had, the, he had the largest medical practice in New York City, okay? And when he went on his sort of a journey, he, <laughs> he, he, he distanced himself from everybody. So there's different degrees, okay? If it's not something you can do, you just try to surround yourself with beauty, harmony, uh, wholesomeness, purity in as much as possible. Because the more... Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people actually, Pamela, will let in the demonic and that will, um, that yeah. will derail, that will derail you, uh, that will derail your success big time. Yeah. It, one, and, and just last thing I'll say on that is when I was um, in Los Angeles, you know, I grew up in, in uh, South Central is where I moved to when I was 10 years old. And I got involved with a lot of knuckleheads, a lot of gangsters and thugs. And that's what I thought I was like, I, you know, I was a wannabe, like I was, I was never really supposed to be in that environment or around that, but that's what I knew. So that's what I mimicked. And that's what a lot of people do. They mimic what they've grown up to, to understand. But the reality is you want to become who you are. And so when I was 18 years old, um, I moved, I just left and, and I never went back because I had to distance myself from negativity. And I still do that. I, li I live a very sheltered life. Um, and thank God I've, I've created a sort of a capsule where I try to only let in, um, I monitor, I monitor, I monitor what I put in my body. You know, right now I'm eating, this is my lunch. This is a smoothie. It's got bananas, blueberries. It's got a lot of superfoods. I mean, now you can go, I'm not teaching you guys to go down the rabbit hole. Like I have, I'm just saying, if you incorporate some of this stuff, you're going to get better results. Hopefully yeah. that makes sense.
yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, anybody else? Hey, Nolly, this is Charles. Oh, Judy says she's reading Letting Go right now. Good job. Hey, Charles. What's hey, up, man. buddy? Hey, uh, yeah, like Sam says, this is all gold, good stuff. Um, you know, one of the things that I've learned from kind of studying this, listening to you over the last year plus, um, along with the mindset, I mean, you, you have to feel it as well. I mean, you know, thought or vision plus feelings, faith, right? Um, so you have to, we got some quotes up on my board, you know, you've got to act as though I am, it will be, you'll never see it until you be it. So it's, it's not just a, a matter of, you know, saying it, you have to feel it. You know, you want to be a millionaire, don't just, I want to be a millionaire. I feel like a millionaire, right? Right now, right then now. Then you really yeah. start to attract that to you. I love it. I love it. That's so true, Charles. Let me let me ask you a question, Charles, that we're on that point. So when you first, because you're you you have more of an engineering mind, uh, you know, you're an IT guy, you're you're a steel, what we call steel yeah. lord in the wealth dynamics, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, sense of things. What were your thoughts when you started hearing all this stuff? Was it because I, I know when I started hearing, I was like, man, that's that sounds <laughs> that sounds like woo woo stuff right there. What what did you think about it? I mean, a little bit of the same, like, really, you know, is it just a matter of, of getting my mind right around this and, and I'll be able to attract this? So, yeah, very much so. And the, in the initial stages was, yeah, sounds a little odd. But, uh, you know, the more I've been able to, to read and, and I mean, really study it and then um, live it and and really see reality you know then it, it becomes obvious that yeah it makes sense you you're you're constantly putting out energy you're putting out those attractions but but like i said when i really started to um i think have success with it is not just saying it but feeling it yeah yeah there's actually a book uh i'm so glad you said that there's actually a book out there called feeling is the secret Mm -hmm. feeling is the secret so if you haven't read that book that it's a real thin book it's an easy read but yeah you're right you have to feel it and you you have to uh as as, as they would say live sort of in the uh, in, in the in the uh sort of the identity of your of your wish fulfilled so you actually yeah. are your wish has already been fulfilled so so in other words you're you're going you're, you're coming at it from retrospect so you're saying yeah. now that i am a millionaire this is how I live, or this is how I, and then you yeah. want to start doing the kind of things that, um, for, you know, what we call your future self. Really, it is, it, I won't, I, I digress. No, I get know, it. Every, yeah, there's, there's a guy named Chris Duncan, that, you know, he talks about committing, you've got to commit your desired reality mm -hmm. to your subconscious mind. You're studying Chris Duncan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's deep right there boy yeah. you're getting into another level i, I don't know if oh, i can yeah. bring that to the masters yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy that's deep that's getting yeah, deep but see here here's the thing for a person like me who um you know and, and by the way we have all faiths in our group so so you know but for a person like me that grew up you know with the bible from the time i was 18 years old uh, actually before i was 18 uh, probably the time i was 10 uh, maybe even before then, um, it, it really makes a lot of what Jesus said come to life. It makes it makes it make sense when you understand this dynamic of it. It's yeah. like, oh, that's what he was. That's what he was talking about. So yeah, yeah. Vision, cool. vision or thought plus feeling is faith. Yeah, Sam. So, yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. Uh, type that in the chat. Things. That's good. Thoughts become things. Thoughts become things. There you go. There you go. And you know, it's funny, Sam, because a lot of times. Um, People, uh, when they join uh, Mentorship Masters, or they're like, man, I just want to learn how to sell a, a crap ton of real estate. I'm like, is that really all you want to learn? <laughs> uh, you know, don't you want to become a better father, a better, a better wife, a better uh, person? Um, and and, and it, along the way, don't you want to keep those things that you gain? Because see, I would be, a, I would be the miser most miserable of teachers if all I taught you was how to get rich. That's easy. That's easy. I've been, you know, I've been making millions for the last 20 years. OK, I've had multiple six and seven figure businesses, but here's the here. And that's fun. I, I like having money. I'm not going <laughs> to. Hey, I, 
I'll be the first one to say, I tried broke. I didn't like it. <laughs> you know, rich is better. I guarantee you. So, so I'm not, that has nothing to do with it. But the point is, you also want to be able to keep that with which you, you earn and, and, and gain. So Sam says, I am the most powerful word, no doubt about it, um, for our subconscious. All right. Any, uh, da, 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 um, Barbara just completed the power of your subconscious mind last night. Way to go. Um, Pamela says, um, I am, I am a millionaire. I am healthy. I am whole. Yeah. And by the way, um, Pamela, the word integrity, integrity, that just means to be whole. That's what the word means. Integrity. When you're, when you're not whole, when you're, when you're not living up to the full potentiality for which God created, okay, that is not integrous. You're not in integrity. And by the way, um, the Homo sapiens is the only mammal, the only species that does not live up to its full potentiality. Every, the ants, the birds, the, you know, the chimpanzees, the monkeys, the, the lions, the bears, the, the cows, all of them live up to their full potentiality of who they are within their, the paradigm of who they are. Mankind is the only one that doesn't. Uh, any other questions from wow. you guys? Nolly, I just wanted to say that is a revelation for me right now on that word integrity and whole. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look it up. That's what it means, integrity. That's why we say as an engineer, if a bridge is missing or is it, some, something's not there, it's not, in, it's, not in, in, it's not in integrity. So that just means it could, it, could, it could crumble, it could fall apart. So good, thank you. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Barbara says awesome stuff. Okay, anybody else have a question? Uh, if not, let's open it up if there are any. So we're, we're pretty much um, complete with this lesson. Um, I really thank you guys for being here. I want to show you some announcements first, and then what I want to do is open it up for any questions you guys have about anything, okay? Um, but let me just, first, let me just show you a few things that are going on that you absolutely want to know about here at Mentorship Masters. By the way, you guys probably already know this, but, um, you know, Mentorship Masters is a family, okay? It's a family. It's not just me. It's all of us together, you know, helping each other succeed. So let me see if, uh, here we go. Okay. Can you guys see? Here we go. All right. So let me, um, I want to welcome our new masters. Uh, those of you the first time here, like I said, we had 22 new masters that have joined. I welcome you guys. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have our first master from Canada that's joining us tomorrow. And uh, we have our first master from India already. Now, let's look at our top producers, guys. Yes, you guys are putting them on the board, okay? Um, everybody can see. Let me, let me make sure. You guys can see the screen okay? Y'all can see my screen? It's good? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so look at all these these people in our family that have that have already capped. Okay, we got Tony Pippinger, Valerie, Valerie Floyd, she goes by Susie Floyd, Tanika uh, Belfield Martin, Katie Johnson, Will Gilliam, David Dutton, uh, Tammy Manning, Tammy Burns Manning, and, and Joe Font have all capped. They're at 100%. And look at all these over here that are on their way up to cap. What's up, Charles? Yeah, we, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there and we're going to be there. So uh, congratulations, guys, for your production. Here's our ambassadors, okay? Um, I want to point out our, our number one ambassador, Will and Deb Gilliam. Then we got Stuart Sutton. And then Mark Phillips had just shot up to the top of the list uh, in the third place. So thank you guys for being ambassadors. You actually become an ambassador at Mentorship Masters after you have uh, brought in your first uh, master to the group. You become an ambassador. And then you're part of a separate group that's another private group that I have. And we really teach you how to, um, you know, how to how to succeed and how to how to do even more attraction. Um, we got somebody in the waiting room there, Chris. I don't know if you see that. Um, now, the thing is, uh, as far as the the ambassadors are concerned, okay. Um, if you want to become an ambassador, you want to help us grow. You want to because we should grow, guys. Listen to this: thirteen percent of real estate agents make it. And 87% don't pass their first two years. That's National Association of Realtors. That's the stats. 
So we want them here where they can have the best chance for success. Okay. So we want you to be bringing more and more people to EXP and particularly to mentorship masters. Yes. I want to grow this thing. And so do you. So every single Monday, don't forget Fred and Kevin have a agent attraction training every single Monday. Um, and so you should be getting the text from me about that. And, uh, and then also check in our, in our group for, for that training as well. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in the news. You know, we opened up in India. We have just opened up in Brazil. That's the latest news. We just opened up in Brazil. Puerto Rico is open. And we're opening probably about 10 more countries um, this year. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to understand. EXP, right now, we're at uh, about 44,000 agents. Okay. By the end of this year, we'll be at 100,000 agents. That's right, 100,000. So we're going to grow. We've been around for 11 years. We've gotten to 44,000. So we're going we're gonna to grow more than we've grown in the last 11 years. We're going to do that this year. So now is the time. If you've got anybody that's been on the fence, now is the time for them to join because we've got so many people that are going to be joining EXP and they're going to join under somebody. It might as well be you. The reality is this, EXP, last week, we onboarded more than 1,000 agents. That's right. We're growing at over 1,000 agents a week. That's never, ever been done in the history of real estate, ever, okay? So this is a, this is a phenomenal opportunity to really you know, uh, help grow the company and help grow your organization. Don't forget also that um, I do have, if you go to mentorshipmasters.live, you can see a presentation. It's a master class that I, that I teach. And it's all about not only Mentorship Masters, but EXP in one complete presentation. So anybody that you have that's interested in uh, knowing more about our group, they can go to mentorshipmasters.live. They can check out the presentation and see if it's something that would be right for them. Okay. Um, and then next week, we're going to... Uh, do part two, we're going to go deeper into this whole mindset thing. Okay. Um, this is where we are right now on this pillar right here. All right. So um, let me open it up for any questions. Is there anything that you guys are having challenges with in your business? Any ahas or anything else you, you want to bring to Uncle Nolly while you got him, while you got his ear? <laughs> let me check the chat while you're doing that. I got a question, Nolly. Go for it. Being, um, I've been in the business a long time, but what would your advice be if you were just starting with your real estate license, just getting your feet wet, being a greenie? Um, what would your advice be for them? Yeah, let me show you. Um, what I, I've actually, I get that question a lot, and um, we all can remember if if you're if you're not brand new now. You probably can remember when you were brand new, and it's quite an interesting time. I mean, it's um, it's uh, it's it's challenging. So what I did was I put together. I'm going to show you right now. Um, let me go to this. I'm going to go to. So I have a site called brandnewagent.com. Okay, brandnewagent.com, and I put this together specifically to answer this question. Um, there's a video on here that says why most new agents fail and what to do about it. There is, in my, in my view, one reason why most new agents fail, and I cover it on this video. Um, and then there's how to get leads. That's the number one question that real estate agents have. Um, then I cover the eight steps to success for a new agent. And then we have another video that's all advice for new agents. Okay. Um, and, and there's some more stuff on here. Everything on this page is free. OK, so there's nothing, to, nothing to purchase, nothing to buy. Uh, you can get my triple my listings book for free. You can get success with listings for free, um, all the books that I've written and things like that. So that's what I would that would be my um, advice, Sam, is to have them go to brandnewagent.com and just check out the resources there, because it really is a um, I mean, the, we could be here for an hour just teaching on that alone, you know, for, for new agents. And um, so I put that resource together for you for that. So ho hopefully that's going to be helpful. Um, any other questions? It's funny because uh, Rebecca will attest to this. You know, my sister, my sister, God bless her. She always, uh, she, she, she asked me for advice on a lot of things, you know, because her younger brother knows stuff, right? 
and uh, she hey, she says, hey, uh, how do I do this? I say, well, here's a book. She said, you you and your books, you got a book for everything. You all, you got a, either, you either got a book or a video for everything. It's like, yeah, that's how I do it, you know, because uh, everything is so comprehensive. And, and Rebecca would probably say the same thing. She said, I don't want to read a book. I just want you to tell me. Um, by the way, let me just share this real quick. The reason why I do that is because when I used to do, um, I used to work some very complex real estate transactions back in the day, short sales. And I would get agents that would call me and they would have a question and they would say, hey, uh, how do I do this? Now I knew the answer, but I knew that once they uh, did what they, what they called me to do, they were gonna have another question because that wasn't, they, they, they couldn't see further ahead. In other words, if, if, if somebody said, hey, how do I make my first million? Well, I could tell them how to make a million and then they'll come back to me, you know, two or three years later, man, you didn't tell me it was, you know, so that's the reason why I write books so that you can get a comprehensive understanding of everything, because it would, it would, it would be a disservice in my opinion, to give you bits and pieces of, um, of information, you know, uh, and that's why, you know, even God put it in writing, you know, he wrote it down, you know, and he, it's pretty comprehensive. So, uh, that's the reason why I do that. Um, and, and so that, so that, it, you know, it really doesn't leave anything out. Um, okay, any, any other, uh, yeah, teach them how to fish. Yeah, that's right, Rebecca, teach them how to fish. Because that's another thing. Um, I don't want people to feel like they always have to come to me to be their savior or their salvation. You know, I want you guys to get to the point where you're like, man, I don't need Nolly. I got this. <laughs> uh, my, my, my employees, you know, I have four employees um, that work for me, and they, uh, the thing that I would always ask them to do is say, what would Nolly do? I know it's kind of maybe sacrilegious, but they start thinking like me. You start teaching your people how to think like you. It's like, what would Nolly do in this situation? Oh, yeah, I bet you he'd do this. You know, nine times out of 10, they're right. So, you know, they kind of figure it out. Um, well, if I got uh, time for one more question. Who's got one on the tip of their tongue? action steps? What do we do now? Yeah, now what I would say is, uh, you know, ponder on what we what we talked about today, I would say go back and listen to this again, maybe without the Q&A part. Listen to the 20, 25 minutes of training, because this is the kind of stuff that really, really has to sink in. And then go to those resources. Because the resources are where you're going to really, um, uh, hopefully everybody took a screenshot of those resources. If not, you know, you get the replay and, and, and there's four resources that I gave you. Um, I would say start with your wish is your command. You can find it in the Mentorship Masters portal. Um, for those of you that don't know how to get there, um, uh, let me just show you real quick. So you go to Mentorship Masters uh, uh, mentorshipmastersgroup.com slash login. And then that will take you to straight to the portal. And this is where everything lives, okay? Everything Mentorship Masters lives within the portal. If you don't know how to get in the portal or you, it's in your welcome email that you got from Chris, but if you can't find it, um, just reach out to Chris. Um, you can call this phone number. Well, this is the phone number right here. So write it down, 512-982-4605. You can call Chris um, or you can email chris at nolly.com and he'll help you. So, um, and you can also search through here. Um, like I can search for the word wish. And then now the, the, the tricky thing about this is um, if, if I search for a keyword, I actually have to open up all these tabs to, to find it. So that's the, that's the one downside of the portal is that there's so much information in here that you don't know where to begin, okay? But if you go to, uh, I'll just show you where it is real quick. So go down here to uh, book of the month. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a little because I'm gonna have you go straight over here to May June, and you're gonna you're gonna um, click on uh, the your wishes your command, and that'll bring up the whole series on YouTube. Okay, so the whole series there's 12 audios um, of that. That's where I would start. I know it's a lot of information, but um, what I tell people is. Uh, if you follow the stuff that I teach you, you're going to be making more money than anybody in your neighborhood. In fact, you're going to be making more money than your doctor. Okay. I make more money than my doctor. 
I know that's fact. I've never been to any doctor that's made more money than me. So the, but guess what? I'm a high school dropout. Okay. That doctor, he went to college for 10 years. Okay. So if you want to earn doctor money, okay, you either go to college for 10 years or you do what Uncle Nolly teaches. And it ain't going to take you 10, 10 years. It's going to take you, Kevin Trudeau, that's like 12 hours. Man, I got to listen to that for 12 hours. Yes, you do. You want to earn doctor money, right? When you put down your goal, was your goal $1,000 a month? I don't think so. Okay. So you have to invest the time to get the result. So anyway, I'm preaching to the choir. You guys are here. I love you. I thank you. Um, I see a couple of, <laughs> I, I see a couple of things up here. Um, Grace says, Nolly, my niece is thinking about, uh, thinking to retire in the, uh, from the military uh, in a few years from now and wants to get into real estate. Uh, can she join EXP now? Yes. I mean, if she's got a real estate license, uh, all she's got to do is get her license and join. And I tell people all the time, listen, for $85 a month, I used to charge my students $1,000, $1,500, $2,500 a month for the kind of teaching you guys are getting. If somebody, if all they did was get their license and pay $85 a month to EXP just to get the training, I mean, that's, that's a no brainer. So yeah, she can do that for sure. Um, uh, Jasma said, this is what I was looking for. Um, it's time to upgrade for me, Barbara. Thomas says, thanks, Nolly. Ex excellent session. Well, thank you, guys. Um, uh, you can unmute yourself. Say goodbye. I love you. Hey, Nolly. Yeah. Hey, Nolly, I had quite a few people that I tagged that came into the room. And nice. uh, one of them, actually, I don't see him in here anymore. He's an actor at Sons of Anarchy. And um, Sons of Anarchy, and he, he's in another one. He's one of my veteran buddies. Nice, and he, man. And he hung around for a while. I've been telling him about getting his real estate license. He has some challenges, um, educational challenges. And I told him, I said, let's, let's do it. Let's get you, you know, I'll help you uh, pass your tests and stuff. But um, he's a really, really big wig in the, in the movie industry. So having him in this room and hearing what you're saying, it was just awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. I let the Holy spirit shine. Uh, by the way, if you guys ever have someone that you want to invite to the meeting, you don't, you, I'm giving you my permission right now. You can, you can invite them as long as they're invited by you. I'm good with that. So you can invite them to the, um, you know, to our meeting. All right. Hey, uh, all right. I, I want to hear some love. Unmute yourself. Thank you, Nolly. Well, thank, thank you, Nolly. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Yes. Love you. Thank you. Awesome, Love you. Nolly. I'm at Hi, number Chris. two, thank Nolly. You. I'm at number Hi, two. Everybody. Number two, baby. <laughs> I'm at number two. All right. I love you. This year. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Take care, guys. Hey, right, bye. hey, Nolly, it's my 21st anniversary, so I'm, I'm, my goal is 21 new agents this year. Woo! Hey. I love it. Are you already at number two, Sam? I'm at number two. Woo! I love it. That's what I want to hear, brother. All right. Someone just signed up yesterday. Let's go. All right. Rock I'm excited. Roll, hey, if you guys have any other questions for me, I'm on the workplace group, so you can always hit me up there, and I will see you next week. Adios. Okay. See you next All year, right. brother. Or next week, brother. Next week. <laughs>